praise God. Hallelujah. We bless God so much for the gift of life. And we adore him for his faithfulness. All that we are saying is, God, we thank you so much. You are good and your mercies endure it forever. Today is another day that you have given unto us. We thank you for it and we pray that you have your way in this day. Let us experience you in a special way. So we'll know you better and do your will. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Brethren in the Lord, I welcome you once again to the program, How Do You Understand the Word of God? We will take a devotional reading from Job chapter 38. Job 38, 16 to 18. Job 38, 16 to 18. Let's hear the word of God. Have you explored the springs from which the seas come? Have you explored their deaths? Do you know where the gates of death are located? Have you seen the gates of utter gloom? Do you realize the extent of the earth? Tell me about it if you know. Brethren in the Lord, this is God talking to Job. Because it got to a time that Job was complaining. He almost gave up. It was not easy. It was not easy. Just imagine what what we read about Job that he went through. He lost everything. He lost his children. His wife left him. And apart from all his properties, he suffered also in his body with sores all over him that all his friends left him. Everyone was condemning him. Even in his case, God wanted him to know that nothing surpasses God. So thinking about what we are going through now, thinking about the life in which we are, thinking about the things that you think is eating you up. God says that. Do we know where light comes from? Do we know the depths of the sea? He tells us that we should explore. We should explore the springs from which the seas come. We we cannot even explore because... Where does the sea start and where does it end? And how can we go down there to even explore? But God created all these mighty things. Not long ago, I went to a place. We went to a place. The church went to a place for a May Day holiday. And when you look around the mountains, how the Lord laid them. I don't know. When you look at the gravels. The, the stones that fall from the mountain that has been shaped, the waters have shaped them. And it was so marvelous to see. To go near a mountain like that and to see the handiwork of the Lord. God is too much. He is God by himself. When you look at some of the, the colors of the waters, Some of them are dark green. Some of them are blue. Some of them are mixture of green and blue. Some of them are plain water. When we look at the streams, the rivers, the springs, the waterfalls, this is the God we are serving. We need not challenge him in any way. We only have to go to him in prayer. We only have to let his word lead us. But for us to open our mouth to talk against God, to speak against God. If care is not taken, we will ruin our lives. May God help us to remain faithful unto him. Yes, he says he's holy. So we also must be holy. Our God is good all the time. And so we need to be near him. He is a friend that God has given to us. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and grief to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. In the end, Job was exalted. God is told him back 
to his rightful place. And the Bible says that God gave him double of whatever, whatever he missed or he lost. God bless you. Let's allow God to have his way in our lives. If he says yes, it is yes. If he says no, it's no. No man can challenge God. Rely on him all the days of your life. Be blessed and share the word. God bless you.